Hi! In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make this bracelet right here. This bracelet is my own original design, and it is a part of my Triple Single Pets bracelet series. And it is the Triple Single Pet Spider slash Tarantula because, well, it's a big spider, and it's, well, why not? And something cool you can do with the spider bracelet is you can use two clips for its fangs or you can use two rubber bands if you don't have C clips or things that look like them. But I do warn you now that if you do use rubber bands they will be extremely close to the eyes and it will look kind of weird. But if you don't have C clips or clips at all then rubber bands may be your only option. But anyway now I'm going to go ahead and tell you what you're going to need. To make this bracelet, you're going to need your loom. Any loom will work as long as it has 13 pins in each of its pin bars, so each row of pins. You will also need your hook. Any hook will work, and yeah, so any hook will work. And I would recommend using a decent hook, one that can at least loom a triple single bracelet. And you will also need a clip. Any clip will work as well as long as it is for rubber band bracelets. Alright, now not only will you need those things there, but you will also need rubber bands. And as you can see here, I have five different groups. Not sure if you can see these white rubber bands, but they're there. And I'm going to go ahead and explain what each group is. So this A group up here they are the main body rubber bands, so the body for your spider, so the whole body. Then these B rubber bands are the background rubber bands, and they are the rubber bands that are on the bracelet so that the whole bracelet does not look like it is the spider because it's not. Then the C rubber bands are going to be specifically for the legs. And you're going to need a lot of these, so I would recommend using two different colors for them. The legs, of course. Then these D rubber bands are the rubber bands involved in anything in the spider's facial features, like the eyes and the fangs. And something you cool you can do is you can use two C clips or... Oop, hold on. Alright, sorry about that. You could use two C-clips, or any clip similar to them, and use them as fangs instead of two rubber bands. And I will be showing you how to make the spider's fangs with clips if you are interested in doing that. And then, finally, these E-rubber bands look like they're coming out of the spider, like as if the spider is making a web. So now that you know what each, or how many different groups you're going to need, the number of rubber bands you will need is going to appear on the screen now. Alright, and now that you know what you're going to need, get your supplies and use the pause button so that you can do so and I will see you once you have everything. Alright, now to begin making the your, or well, your little spider or your bracelet, you're going to need to make sure that the arrow on your loom is pointing away from you. But anyway, make sure you have your arrow pointing away from you. You're also going to need to get 22 A color rubber bands, 14 B color rubber bands and 3 E color rubber bands. And you should only have one E color rubber band left once you use these three. So, anyway, we're going to be placing rubber bands on this middle pin bar first. And to begin, we're going to get a B color rubber band. And we're going to place it going from this first middle pin to the second middle pin. Then 
Then, here on the second middle pin, we're going to get another B color rubber band, and we're going to place it going from the second middle pin to this third middle pin. Now, starting on this third middle pin, we're going to place seven A color rubber bands going down this middle pin bar on our loom. So, starting here on this third middle pin, you're going to get an A color rubber band, you're going to place it going across these next two pins. And you're just going to place six more after this one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And now you should have a total of two B color rubber bands and seven A color rubber bands on this middle pin bar. And your chain of seven A color rubber bands should end on this tenth middle pin. So once you're here on this tenth middle pin, you're going to get an E color rubber band now. And you're going to place it going from this tenth middle pin to this eleventh middle pin. Then you're going to get another E color rubber band, and you're going to place it going from this 11th middle pin to this 12th middle pin. And with your final E color rubber band, you're going to place it going from this 12th middle pin to the 13th middle pin. And now your loom should look something like this. Once you have placed rubber bands on this middle pin bar, we are now going to place rubber bands on the left side of our loom or on this left pin bar. And to begin, we're going to return to this first middle pin, and we're going to get a B color rubber band to start. Now we're going to place this B color rubber band on this first middle pin, and out going outwards to this first left pin. Then you're going to get another B color rubber band, and you're going to place it going from this first middle pin to the second middle pin. And then you're going to get one last B color rubber band, and you're going to place it going from the second middle pin to the, from the second left pin to the third left pin. Now you're going to switch over to A color rubber bands, and you're going to place seven of these going down this left pin bar on your loom. So you're going to place seven starting on this third left pin. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And once you have placed this single chain of seven A color rubber bands on your loom, you should have a total of two B color rubber bands on this left pin bar and seven A color rubber bands. And these A color rubber bands on this left pin bar should start on this third left pin and end here on this tenth left pin. Now we're going to switch back over to B color rubber bands and we're going to place the next B color rubber band going from this 10th left pin to this 11th left pin. Then from this 11th left pin to this 12th left pin we'll place another B color rubber band. And finally, we're going to place one last B color rubber band going inwards from this 12th left pin to this 13th middle pin. And once you have placed that rubber band, your loom should look something like this now. So once you have placed rubber bands on this middle pin bar and this left pin bar, you're now going to place rubber bands on the right pin bar, or the right row of pins. 
And doing this is very easy because you've already done it on the left. So what I'm trying to say is when you go to place rubber bands on this right row of pins, you're going to do the exact same thing you did for the left. You're going to start here on this first and middle pin, and you're going to get a B color rubber band, and you're going to place it going from this first middle pin to this first right pin. And all you're going to do is you're going to mirror or do exactly what you did on the left, now on the right. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward from here. If you are not sure how to place rubber bands on this right pin bar, just look at the rubber bands on the left pin bar and just go down your loom copying what's here on the left. So make sure the arrow's pointing away from you. So now, once you have finished placing rubber bands on this right pin bar on your loom, and you've done the exact same thing you did on the right as you've done on the left, your loom should look something like this now. Okay, so now it is time to make the legs for your spider. And to do that, you're going to need to make sure that the arrow on your loom is now pointing towards you. And you're also going to need to get your hook and all 56 C color rubber bands that you should have out. And because you will need 56, make sure you have two different colors so you're not using a ton of one color and the legs look a lot cooler with two colors, in my opinion, but anyway. To make the legs, you need to find the first left and right pins. These two pins should not have any rubber bands on them. So now you know why you are going to need 13 pins in each pin bar. So anyway, to make the legs, you're going to need to know how to make a fishtail bracelet. And if you do not know how, just look up a tutorial. But fishtail bracelets are very easy. And yeah. So anyway, to begin, you're going to get a C color rubber band. And you're going to start this off like you would a fishtail. You're going to take this C color rubber band. And you're going to stretch it across these two first pins. But when you do, you're going to twist it into an 8 or an infinity shape like this and well now you should have this then you're going to get another C color rubber band and you're going to stretch it across these same two pins but you're just going to just simply stretch it across you're not going to twist it or anything so another C color rubber band then you're going to get another C color rubber band and you're going to do the exact same thing as you did the previous rubber band. You're just going to stretch it across these two first pins, not twisting it or anything. And once you have that third C color rubber band on these two pins, you're going to get your hook and you're going to grab the bottom layer. So there should be three layers of rubber bands you're going to grab the bottom layer and this layer should be twisted and you're going to just pull it over the pins it is on with your hook and onto these two rubber bands above it so now you should have something like this on your loom and once you do now you're just going to continue this little thing here like a regular fishtail bracelet. You're going to get another C color rubber band and you're going to stretch it across these two first pins and you're going to grab this bottom layer of the rubber band with your hook and pull it over the pins it is on and onto this rubber band above it or these two rubber bands, sorry. There should be two. There you go. Then once you have loomed that bottom rubber band you're going to get another C color rubber band and you're going to stretch it across these same two pins as you've been stretching all the others. 
then you're going to get your hook and you're just going to loom the bottom layer of rubber band on both pins on both sides and onto these rubber bands above it then you're going to do the exact same thing again you're going to get another C color rubber band oops and you're going to stretch across these two pins and you're going to just loom this bottom rubber band or this bottom layer over the pins it is on and onto these two rubber bands above it now we're going to do the same thing one more time we're going to get another C color rubber band and we're going to stretch it across these two first pins like we've done the previous rubber bands and we're going to loom the bottom layer over the pins it is on with our hooks and onto these two rubber bands above it now instead of placing another rubber band on these two first pins we're instead going to just grab the bottom layer or the bottom rubber band on these two pins once again and we're just going to loom them over the pins and now we should only have one layer of rubber bands on these two pins so now what you're going to do is once you have this this little fishtail here you're now going to prepare this rubber band going across this first left pin and this first right pin so that you can have your hook and just transfer this little first leg onto your loom and to do that what you're going to do is you're going to grab one side of this rubber band on one of the pins and you're going to pull it off of the pin it is on and bring it over to the other end of the rubber band on the other pin so now you should have something like this on your loom and once you do you're just going to get your hook and stick it into this pin with these two layers of rubber band on it and you're just going to pull the layers off of that pin and now they should be on your hook now once you have this you're going to need to find the fifth left pin on your loom so one two three four five I'm going to turn my loom so you can see and what you're going to do is you're going to transfer this rubber band on your hook onto this fifth left pin and to do this you're just going to stretch this rubber band back on your hook and you're just going to transfer the bands onto this fifth left pin so there you go now you have your first little leg for your spider now we're going to make another leg for our spider and to do that we're going to do the exact same thing we did for the first leg we're going to get a C color rubber band and we're going to place it going across these two first pins and when we do, we're going to twist it into an 8 or an infinity shape like this. So now that you have something like this on your loom, then once you have that, you're going to get another C color rubber band and you're going to stretch it across these two first pins like this rubber band placed before it. And then you're going to place one more C color rubber band on these two pins. Now you're going to get your hook and you're going to grab this bottom layer on both pins and you're going to pull it over those pins it is on and onto these two rubber bands above it now you're going to get another C color rubber band and you're going to place it going across these two first pins like you placed the previous rubber bands and you're going to get your hook and grab this bottom layer on both pins and pull it over the pins it is on and onto these two rubber bands above it now we're going to do the same thing again we're going to get another C color rubber band and we're going to stretch it across these two first pins 
and then we're going to grab the bottom layer on both pins with our hook and we're going to pull them over the pins they are on and onto these two rubber bands above them. Now we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to get another C collar rubber band and we're going to stretch it across these two first pins like the previous rubber bands and we're going to loom the bottom layer with our hooks over the pins they are on and onto these two up here and now we're going to do the same thing one last time we're going to get another C color rubber band stretch it across these two pins loom the bottom layer with our hooks and now what you're going to do is instead of placing another little rubber band on these two pins you're just going to loom the bottom layer again and now there should only be one layer of rubber bands on these two pins and what you're going to do now is the same thing as you did for the previous little leg you're going to get your hook and you're going to grab one side of this rubber band stretching across these two pins and you're going to carefully pull it off the pin and bring it over to the other pin with the other end of the rubber band and now you should have something like this on your loom and once you do what you're going to do is you're going to get your hook and you're going to slide it into this rubber band I mean goodness into this pin here with these two rubber bands on it and you're going to pull these two little layers off of that pin and now they should be on your hook now once you have this second leg on your hook you're going to find the sixth left pin on your loom so one two three four five six and now you're going to transfer these rubber bands on your hook onto this sixth left pin so it's easier oops there we go just stretch these rubber bands out and just wrap them onto this pin and bam so now you should have your second leg on your loom now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make a leg for your spider one more time and then I'm going to leave you to make the last five legs you should need to make for your spider because well spiders have eight legs alright so to make a leg for your spider what you're going to do is you're going to get a C color rubber band and we're going to place it going across these two first pins and you're going to twist it into an H shape or infinity shape when you do this so you have something like this on your loom and I meant to get brown there we go so you have something like this on your loom then you're going to place two more C color rubber bands above this rubber band you just placed so one two and now you should have three layers of rubber bands on both pins and what you're going to do at this point is you're going to get your hook and loom the bottom layer over the pins it is on and onto these two rubber bands or layers above it so now you should have something like this and once you do you're going to get another C color rubber band and you're going to stretch it across these two first pins like you have been stretching all the other rubber bands and you're going to get your hook again and you're going to grab the bottom layer and you're going to pull it over the pins it is on make sure you do both pins and onto these two rubber bands above it
Now you're going to do the same pattern three more times. You're going to place a C color rubber band on these two first pins and you're going to loom the bottom layer three more times and then I will show you what to do from there. So there's one time two times and the third time so now you should have something like this on your loom and you should have a total of seven rubber bands that are kind of in this leg so there should be five that look like they're in the fishtail and then two on these first pins and if you do need to catch up just use the pause button but anyway, once you get to this point here, you're going to get your hook, and instead of placing another C color rubber band, you're going to loom this bottom layer on both pins again. Oops, and I messed up this rubber band here. But anyway, once you loom the bottom layer on both pins a second time, you're going to get your hook, and you're going to grab one end of the rubber band on this pin and you're going to pull it off of the pin it is on and you're going to bring it over to the other end on the other pin and you should now have something like this on your loom now once you do you're going to get your hook again and you're going to stick your hook into this pin here with the two layers of rubber bands on it and you're going to pull those layers off of the pin and now they should be on your hook. Now you're going to need to find the seventh left pin on your loom. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's where you're going to transfer these two layers on your hook. So you're going to transfer this rubber band onto this pin. and bam. So now as you can see here I have three legs on my loom for my spider and you should as well and now I'm going to leave you to continue making legs for your spider until you have eight and what you're going to do is once you have four legs on the left you're going to make four more legs and you're going to put them on the right fifth pin, sixth pin, seventh pin, and eighth pin. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and continue making legs for my spider and you should as well. I'm also going to be fast forwarding so use the pause button if you need to. Alright, so as you can see here, now I have all eight legs on my loom, and you should have all eight legs for your spider on your loom as well, and the legs should be on the fifth left and right pins, the sixth left and right pins, the seventh left and right pins, and the eighth left and right pins. So make sure you have a leg on each of those eight pins. 
So anyway, now that we have the legs on our loom, it is now time to place the eyes and all of the rubber bands that will hold these three rows of rubber bands together. Alright, now to place the eyes on for your spider, you're going to need two D rubber bands, and these two should be meant for the eyes. And you're also going to need to find the tenth left and right pins. And to do that, make sure that the arrow on your loom is still pointing towards you. And you're going to count this first left pin, so we're going to do it on the left, as one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So right here. So here's the tenth left pin, and here's the tenth right pin. So these two pins are going to be where you're going to put the eyes for your spider. And to make the eyes, what you're going to do is you're going to get one of these two C color rubber bands, and you're just going to set it on this tenth left pin. We're going to make the first eye on the left. Now what we're going to do with this rubber band that we just let set here, we're going to turn it into a triple cap band. And to do that, what you're going to do is you're just going to grab this rubber band while it's still caught on this pin, and you're going to twist it into an eight shape like this. So you can have your two fingers or however many fingers you need. And you're going to put this new little triangle shape that you create onto this pin, so the tenth left pin, with the rest of the rubber band, creating a regular cap band. Then you're going to grab one of these two layers on this pin, preferably the top one, and you're going to twist it into another eight shape, and that should create another triangle shape where your fingers are. And you will put this new little shape that you create with your fingers onto this tenth left pin with the rest of the cap band. And now you should have three little layers of this rubber band on this tenth left pin. And now you have your first eye. Now we're going to make the second eye only now on the tenth right pin. And to do that, you're going to do the exact same thing. You're going to get a C color rubber band, and you're going to just set it on this tenth right pin. Then you're going to grab the C color rubber band while it's on this pin, and you're going to twist it into an H shape like this. Then you're going to put this new little, oops, Okay, there we go. Now you're going to put this new little triangle or whatever shape you get that you create with your fingers onto this tenth right pin with the rest of the rubber band. And this will create a regular cap band on this tenth right pin. Once you have that, you're going to now grab one of these two layers, preferably the top layer, and you're going to twist it into another eight shape like this and then you're going to put this new little triangle or whatever shape you get from twisting this layer onto this tenth right pin with the rest of the cap band creating a triple cap band so now you have both of the eyes on your loom and now what we're going to do is we're going to place the rubber bands that are going to hold all three rows of rubber bands together. Now, here is where you want to place the fang rubber bands. If you are going to have fangs that are rubber bands instead of clips, because you can either have clips for the fangs of your spider or you can have rubber bands and if you don't really have a clip that's like a C clip then I would recommend you just use rubber bands but anyway I'm going to show you how to place these on later and 
to place the rubber bands that will hold all three of these rows here together, you're going to need seven A color rubber bands and three B color rubber bands. Now, to begin, make sure that the arrow on your loom is still pointing towards you like it has been ever since we placed and made the arms or the legs. Now to begin, we're going to start on these third pins here, and if you've made a triple single bracelet before, which you should have before you make this, you already know what we're supposed to do now. What we're supposed to do now is we're supposed to place triangle bands, so rubber bands that, that are in a triangle shape, going down your loom so that these three rows of rubber bands won't be all flying around and separate. Now anyway, to do this, what you're going to do is you're going to get a B color rubber band and you're going to place it from this third left pin inwards to this third middle pin. Then you're going to stretch this rubber band out from this third middle pin to this third right pin, creating this triangle shape. Now you're going to do the same thing on these fourth pins. You're going to get a B color rubber band and stretch it going inwards from this fourth left pin to this fourth middle pin and from this fourth middle pin going outwards to this fourth right pin. And now you should have another triangle shape rubber band on your loop. Now we're going to place this last B color rubber band, but you should still have one more left. We're going to place this oh, we're going to place this B color rubber band later, and we're going to now place all seven of these A color rubber bands going down our loom. So the first A color rubber band we're going to place for this is going to be on these fifth pins. Then the next A color rubber band is going to be on the sixth pins, and so on. So you're just going to place all of the A color rubber bands going down your loom. Now, once you have placed all seven of these A color rubber bands going down your loom, if you're going to be using rubber bands for the fangs on your spider, you're going to take this last A color rubber band that's in a triangle shape off of your loom, and you're going to place these two D color rubber bands you should have. If you ha are going to be using clips, like I will for your spider's fangs, then you won't need to take this rubber band off. Just let this part of the video play. So anyway, once you have taken this last A color rubber band that's in the triangle shape off of your loom, and it should have been on these 11th left pin, 11th middle pin, and 11th right pin, right pin, you're going to get one of the D color rubber bands and you're just going to set it on this 11th left pin. Then you're just going to grab it like you did for the eyes and you're going to twist it into an H shape like this and you're going to put this new triangle shape onto this 11th left pin. Then you're going to do the same thing on this 11th right pin. You're going to get this D color rubber band, this last one you should have left, and you're going to just set it on this 11th right pin. Then you're going to just, while it's still on this pin, you're going to twist it into an H shape like this, and you're going to put this new 
shape you create by twisting this rubber band onto this 11th right pin with the rest of the rubber band. And now you should have two cap bands on your loom. So two regular cap bands and two triple cap bands. Now you're going to place the last A color rubber band you should have left going back across this 11th left pin, 11th middle pin, and 11th right pin. And finally you're going to place this B color rubber band and you should still have one B color rubber band left going across these 12th pins. So from this 12th left pin to this 12th middle pin and then outwards from this 12th middle pin to this 12th right pin. And now you are done placing rubber bands on your loom except for this E color rubber band here. It will be a cap band for when you begin looming. So what that means is you're going to need to get your hook here's my hook and the last E color rubber band you should have left because now it is time to begin looming your bracelet. Alright, so before we begin looming and before we place this last E color rubber band we need to come up here to the pins with our eyes and if you're going to be using rubber bands for the fangs well those pins as well. And what you're going to do is you're going to get your hook for this next step and also make sure the arrow is pointing towards you but I'm going to have my loom pointing this way because my camera is kind of in the way. But what you're going to do, right there we go, is you're going to start with the eyes. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your hook and you're going to grab this triple cap band here on this 10th left pin with your hook and you're going to pull it over the pin it is on and onto this A color rubber band above it. So that's the first eye. Then you're going to do the same thing on this 10th right pin. You're going to get your hook, grab this triple cap band here, pull it over the pin it is on, and onto this A color rubber band above it. And if you do need to just take one layer or two layers at a time, that's okay. As long as the triple cap bands get onto this A color rubber band here, like this, then you should be fine. Now, if you have rubber bands for your spider's fangs, then you're just going to do the same thing for them. You're going to get your hook, grab the cap band, that is for your spider's fangs, pull it over the pin it is on, and onto this A color rubber band above it. Then you'll do the same thing for the other fang, You'll pull it over the pin it is on and onto this A color rubber band above it. And you should have something like this on your loom. Now it is time to actually begin looming. So get your hook and your last E color rubber band. We're going to first place this E color rubber band on our loom. Now to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to make this E color rubber band into a cap band. And to do this, what you're going to do is you're going to twist this rubber band into an 8 or an infinity shape like this. Then you're going to fold this rubber band back on top of itself like a book. And now it should look like you have two rubber bands instead of one. Then you're going to put this cap band on this first middle pin. Now make sure that the arrow on your loom is still pointing towards you. And then you can put this rubber band on the first middle pin. And once you have your cap band on your loom, you can get your hook and get started on looming. Now looming this bracelet is very very easy, especially if you've already made a triple single bracelet before. All it is, is just pulling back the top rubber bands, grabbing the bottom rubber band, and looming it forwards. Even when you get to the legs here. 
So I'll go ahead and demonstrate on this left pin bar, and then I'll leave you to continue looming for this middle pin bar and this right pin bar. So to loom this left row of rubber bands, what you're going to do is you're going to pull back this cap band on this first middle pin, grab this top rubber band underneath of the cap band, and make sure you hold the cap band down with your fingers so it does not come off of this first middle pin, and you're going to loom this rubber band on your hook outwards to this second left pin. And that is where this rubber band should be coming from. Then here on this second left pin, you're going to pull back the top rubber bands. Then I'm going to grab the bottom rubber band, and you're going to loom it forwards to the third left pin. Now once you're here on this third left pin, you're going to pull back this top rubber band, grab this bottom rubber band, and loom it forwards to the fourth left pin. Then here on this fourth left pin, you're going to pull back the top rubber band, grab the bottom rubber band, and loom it forwards to this fifth left pin. So once you get to this fifth left pin, you run into your first leg on your spider. And all you're going to do is when you get to body parts like this, you're just going to pull back all of the top rubber bands. So let me just turn my loom. So all the top rubber bands. Then you're going to grab this very bottom rubber band and you will loom it forwards to the next pin. And in this case, the next pin is the sixth left pin. And that's basically all you're going to do. You're just going to pull back the top rubber bands, grab the bottom rubber band, and loom it forwards to the next pin, going all the way down this left pin bar on your loom, until you get to this 13th left pin. So, I'm going to go ahead and just fast forward from here, use the pause button if you need to, and I will see you once you have finished looming this left row of rubber bands. Alright, so as you can see here, I have stopped looming these rubber bands when I got to this 13th left pin, and I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to loom this rubber band here. So this rubber band here that goes inwards from this 13th left pin to this 13th middle pin is very easy to loom. You're just going to grab this bottom rubber band on the 13th left pin, and you're going to loom it inwards to this 13th middle pin. Now you do not need to turn your loom or anything like I have. It's just so that you can see what I am doing because my camera is just in the way. But anyway, once you have loomed that rubber band there, you're going to return to this first middle pin and you're going to do the same thing you did here on the left, now on this middle pin bar and this right pin bar. So these right row of rubber bands and the middle row of rubber bands. You're just going to pull back the top rubber bands, grab the bottom rubber band, and loom it forwards to the next pin, going all the way down these pin bars until you get to the last pin in each pin bar. Also, when you loom rubber bands on this right row of pins, make sure you loom this rubber band here. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward from here, use the pause button if you need to, and I will see you once you have loomed all of the rubber bands for your bracelet. Alright, so as you can see here, I have finished looming all of the rubber bands that are on my loom, and you should have finished looming as well. And once you have finished looming all of the rubber bands, well, on your loom, your loom should look something like this now.
Alright, so once you have loomed all of the rubber bands on your loom, and your loom looks something like what I just showed you, it is now time to take this bracelet off of your loom. And, well, to do that, what you're going to do is you're going to need to make sure that the arrow on your loom is pointing towards you. You're also going to need to get your hook and the last B color rubber band you should have left. Now just put this rubber band off to the side for now. You're not going to need it yet. And now you're going to get your hook and we're going to begin to take this bracelet off. Alright, no anyway, just had to change the background because we're not looming right now. But anyway, to take this bracelet off of your loom, you're going to get your hook and we're going to start here on this first middle pin and to help you find the first middle pin the cap band should be on that pin now anyway to take your bracelet off of your loom you're just going to get your hook and you're just going to pull the rubber bands off of each pin one pin at a time like I am doing right now and you're just going to do this going all the way down your loom until you get to this 13th middle pin. Do not take the rubber bands off of this 13th middle pin. You will need these later on to make your extension. So do not take them off of this pin. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and just continue taking my bracelet off of my loom and you should get started on that as well. And I'm also going to fast forward from here so use the pause button if you need to. Alright, now as you can see here, I have taken my bracelet off of my loom, and now I have my little spider here. And yes, the fangs look like they're really close to the eyes, but that's how it's supposed to be. But if you don't like it, then you could either just remake the bracelet or you could just cut these rubber bands off. But it looks a lot better with clips, but I did tr don't say I didn't warn you. But anyway, now we need to take the rubber bands off of this 13th middle pin. And to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to get the last B color rubber band you should have left and your hook. And what you're going to do is you're going to slide your hook into this 13th middle pin all the way down so that when you stick your hook out to the side, it catches all of the rubber bands on this pin. Then, you're going to get this B color rubber band, and you're going to put it in the mouth of your hook, like that. Oops, hold on. There you go. And you're just going to then slide your hook back up through this 13th middle pin. And once you do, you should have this rubber band that you're holding with your fingers only, so there should only be one rubber band on your hook, and you're going to put this end of the rubber band that you're holding with your fingers onto your hook as well, and you're just going to pull these rubber bands off of the pin. And now you should have something like this on your hook. So once you have this on your hook, it is now time to make the extension for your bracelet. Alright, so to make your extension, you're going to need two pins on your loom, and you can choose any two pins that you wish, your bracelet still on your hook, and some more rubber bands that will serve as the rubber bands for your extension. I'm just going to put those over there. But anyway, to begin making your extension, you're going to need to pick two pins on your loom 
and it does not matter what two pins but once you choose two pins on your loom you're going to transfer this rubber band onto those two pins and to do that what you're going to do is you're going to grab one end of the rubber band on your hook so the other end should still be there and you're going to transfer it onto one of the two pins you've chosen then you're going to do the same thing for the other end so you're going to just take it off your hook and transfer it onto the other pin so like this now once you have this rubber band on these two pins you can now begin to make your extension now because this rubber band here is on two pins you could make any bracelet you want for an extension as long as the bracelet only requires two pins on your loom so you could make a fishtail extension if you want to but I'm just going to be making a simple single chain extension and to make a single chain extension what you're going to do is you're going to get an extension rubber band also have your hook nearby and you're going to place this rubber band going across the same two pins as this rubber band that you just transferred then you're going to get your hook and you're going to grab both ends of this rubber band and pull them over the pins they are on and onto this rubber band above them so now you should have something like this on your loom now you're going to do something like this again you're going to get another extension rubber band and you're going to stretch it going across these two pins here that you have chosen originally and you're going to now loom this bottom rubber band over the pins it is on and onto this rubber band above it now you're going to do the same thing again you're going to get an extension rubber band stretch it across the same two pins as this rubber band you placed before and you're going to get your hook and loom the bottom rubber band over the pins it is on and onto this rubber band above it. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to show you the pattern for making this single chain extension one more time and then I'm going to leave you to continue making the extension on your own. So to make the single chain extension you're going to get another extension rubber band and you're going to stretch it across the same two pins as the rubber band you've placed before it and then you're going to get your hook and you're going to loom the bottom rubber band over the pins it is on and onto this rubber band above it and that's pretty much it so you're just going to continue that simple pattern of just placing and looming rubber bands to create your extension and you're just going to continue the same pattern until your extension is long enough so that your bracelet will fit around your wrist so I'm going to go ahead and fast forward from here use the pause button if you need to Alright, so as you can see here, I have now finished making my extension and now it is long enough so that my bracelet will fit around my wrist and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to put your clip on both ends of your bracelet so you can finish it off and actually start wearing it. So to do that, what you're going to do is you're going to need your hook, the last extension rubber band, uh, well, the last rubber band in your extension still on these two pins, 
and your clip. So you can go ahead and just put your clip off to the side for now. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get our hooks and we're going to grab one end of this rubber band here and pull it off of the pin it is on and bring it over to the other end on the other pin and now you should have something like this on your loom now what you're going to do is you're going to get your hook and you're going to stick it into this pin here with the rubber bands on it and you're going to just pull this rubber band back so like this to another pin on your loom like this and that should stretch out this rubber band a little more and you can put your hook down finally and you can get your clip and now it is much easier to slide your clip onto this rubber band alright so once you have your clip on this last extension ripper band you can pull the extension ripper band off of the pins and now your clip should be attached to it now you're going to do the same thing or something similar for your cap band and by cap band I mean the cap band at the end of your bracelet so or at the beginning but whatever and what you're going to do to put your clip onto your cap band is you're going to get your cap band, so find the cap band, and you're going to just stretch it across any two pins on your loom. Then you're going to get your clip on the other end of your bracelet and make sure it stays on this end of your bracelet, of course. And you're going to attach it to this now very stretched out cap band. And once you do, you're just going to take the cap band off of the pins, it is on, and now your clip should be attached to both ends of your bracelet. And once it is, you can go ahead and put your bracelet on, and bam! So as you can see here, I'm now wearing my triple single pet spider bracelet. I'm going to go ahead and take it off because it's a little dark but hopefully I'll be able to light up the video a little bit but anyway so now I have my triple single pet spider bracelet and hopefully you do as well and I do apologize if the fangs if you use rubber bands I do apologize if the fangs are a little too close to the eyes for you if if you get but when you hold it three kind of to be 3d ish kind of when you fold it over it actually looks like a spider with the fangs and the eyes and it's creepy so I'm gonna stop it's kind of two-dimensional and it looks kind of ick but that's what I was trying to achieve with the very close eyes and fangs and stuff now if you're going to be putting clips on for the fangs then go ahead and get the two clips you're going to be using and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to put them on it's actually very easy now if you don't have rubber bands for the fangs then you're obviously going to be putting either on the clips or you're just not going to have fangs for your spider and if that's the case this is going to be looking more like a or an octopus but anyway to attach your clip onto your bracelet so it looks like they are fangs what you're going to do is you're so as you can see here, there are these rubber bands that hold all three rows of these rubber bands here together. You're going to find the rubber band that comes after the eyes that holds all three rows of rubber bands together. And it should be an A color rubber band. So this rubber band here. Then what you're going to do is you're going to just slide your clip onto these rubber bands and it probably most likely won't be sliding it'll be forcing and really annoying but just try your best to get it onto the rubber bands Oop, I got it on the wrong rubber band oops 
Right, I'm gonna go off camera here. For Wait, hold on. Oh, never mind, not going off camera. But anyway, so now as you can see, I have my first clip on here. And when you hold it kind of 3D-ish, it looks kind of like a fang in a way, and it's shiny and stuff. I don't know why, but I don't know why that's important, but whatever. And then you're going to do the same thing for the next clip. Where is my other clip? Here it is. So you're going to find the same rubber band, only you're going to put it on the other side of this middle rubber band here. On the other side of this middle row of rubber bands. And you're just going to try to slide your clip onto this a this last A color rubber band, if that helps you with finding it any. And bam! So now I have both of my clip fangs on my spider, and it looks very scary when you make it kind of 3D-ish, so I'm going to go ahead and stop. But anyway, that's pretty much it, so yeah. So I would like to thank you for watching my tutorial, and hopefully you enjoyed it. You probably didn't, you were probably bored, but that's okay, I guess. No, it's not. It's not okay if someone is bored. It's very bad, but hey, hopefully you you have your triple single pet spider slash tarantula because it's kind of huge. And one cool feature I actually like about this thing is that it kind of looks like it's shooting out little spider web fibers or I can't remember exactly what they're called, but it kind of looks like that. It's coming out of your spider's butt and it's weird, but that's what they do. And, well, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. So, thanks for watching, and bye!